here beta our today's topic that is reversible reaction reversible reaction that means the reaction by in which then you can find from reactant to product and from product to reactant okay just like as you can understand in this way reversible reaction you can see that the reactions reaction in which in which you you can find you can find product find product from reactant product from reactant reactant and reactant from product okay reactant from product okay mm. yes so that means here you can see also that is it means any any example that you can take over there beta suppose that i am taking example suppose that when hydrogen react with oxygen then they form water okay h2o and suppose that when water that would like to decompose okay or heat then it will decompose into hydrogen and oxygen okay so is that the formula of making water i thought it's like uh, h2 plus o h2 plus o2 it's a chemical reaction of forming water okay okay yes it's a chemical reaction of forming water beta and that means hydrogen plus oxygen when combined then form water okay so from left to right that is your combination reaction okay above it is your combination reaction mm -hmm. one second combination combination reaction okay and mm -hmm. downwards you can see that it's your decomposition reaction okay mm -hmm. <coughs> okay decomposition reaction understand beta yeah yeah so that means from left to right if you would like to see then it will be your it will be your combination reaction in combination reaction you can see that hydrogen is reacting with oxygen to form water and in decomposition reaction from right to left you can see that right to left you can see that water when decompose then it will convert into its constituent component of hydrogen and oxygen clear yeah oh wait a second shan i think that you just have to close your door okay oh. sorry yeah so can you just wait a second oh yes yes, yes. i'm waiting So here, do you understand this one, brother? Reversible yeah. reaction. Yeah. Great. So here you can see also that. Uh, wait a second. I am refreshing that. So yeah, there are many reversible reaction. Okay. There are many reversible reaction. Okay. In which one that you will find from reactant to product and then product from reactant. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. that means yes, yes. 
means always remember one thing that means so when you will get that uh, reaction to you will get reactant when reactant will combine to form product or from product you will get reactant then that will be known as your reversible reaction we talking yes understand yes i understand great secondly at at constant uh, at equilibrium position beta you can write one thing that also i have to explain at equilibrium you can write there at equilibrium at equilibrium i uh, you know that at equilibrium condition concentration 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 of react reactant okay yeah. will will be equals to equals to concentrate concentration concentration of product okay what does it mean concentration concentration you have to understand also over there beta concentration means concentration concentration that means number of molecules or number of moles yeah that will be number of moles present so what's the difference between moles and molecules are it the moles that moles and molecules <coughs> sorry beta moles that means so when the atoms mass will be in gram okay okay yeah when atoms mass that will be in gram that is known as mole okay okay, okay. i'm writing here so that you can understand first of all you just have to understand that concentration that means number of moles or molecules present okay yes. yeah that is concentration and now what are moles suppose that when mass will be given in gram mole mole that means so when mass of an atom will be given in gram okay in grams okay yeah yes then that will be known as moles and molecules molecule but as simply suppose that when two atom will combine together okay yeah yes then they will form molecule okay next one mm. that is your molecule molecule also i'm going to write over there beta molecule 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 that means uh, uh yeah or you can write that combination of two atom okay so can you write with a different pen because it's not clear it's not a bit clear do you know the yellow color it's not clear okay no problem i'm choosing another color beta give me one second i'm raising that oh oh what is happening yeah i'm choosing another color Hmm. Okay. Suppose that molecule. Are you able to see this one? Yeah. Okay, molecule. That means when two <laughs> atoms atoms combined. Okay. combined they form form molecule okay 
So how do you understand that? Suppose that when O plus O will combine, they will form. Okay, O2. Okay, it is your diatomic molecule. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now you understand? Yeah. It is your di. Di means you can see that there are two atom of oxygen. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Di yeah. atomic. Di atomic molecule. Okay. Do you understand, Bita? Yeah. Okay. Great. So here, everything that fundamentally that I explained that the reversible reaction. You have to understand that reaction in which you can find product from reactant and reaction from product. Okay. Okay. Here that we had taken an example of a reaction in which one you can see that from left to right that you are seeing that hydrogen is reacting with oxygen to form water. Okay. That means from reactant to you are getting product like water and. If we will move from right to left, then you can see that when water will decompose, okay, <clears throat> water will decompose. But a decomposing sign that means you can also place over there uh, heat sign, okay. Give me one second. Okay. Yes, heat sign over here. Yeah, del or triangle sign. That means you are heating water. So when you when you will heat water, then water would like to convert into steam or not. Yeah. And hundred percent, yeah. In that steam, there will be the molecules of hydrogen and oxygen. Oh, oxygen, yeah. Clear? <laughs> yeah. That's very easy, beta. And also, beta, suppose that any reaction that is in equilibrium condition. So always mm -hmm. remember that the number of number of uh, number of uh, reactant that will be equal to the number of product. Okay. Or indirectly, you can see that the concentration of react, uh, reactant will equals to concentration of product. Okay? okay. You can also understand that concentration means the number of moles on either side or the number of molecules on either either side. Clear? Yeah. Yeah. How will you understand this one? Suppose that I am going to balance reaction. Okay. I am going to balance the above reaction. That's why I am choosing white color. Here you can see that there are two atom of hydrogen here. Okay. Okay. On your right side there are two atom of hydrogen here, but here you can see there are two oxygen, but there is here is one oxygen. Okay. So yeah. if you can multiply right hand side by two or not. Yeah. Are you able to see this white color on your screen? Yeah. Great. So when you will multiply by two, then number of oxygen. Atom that will be same or not? Yeah. But you can see when you will multiply that by two, then oxygen will be two. But here you can see that hydrogen that will be four. Huh? Yep. Two H two. That means it will be four. So that means here also you have to multiply by two. And then now you can see that it's your balanced chemical reaction. Clear? That yeah. means indirectly you have to do. You have to write equation in such a way so that the number of moles or number of molecules in reactant that will also be equal to the number of moles or molecules in product. Okay. Okay. Understand, Bita? Yeah. Great. Fantastic. Okay. Um, I am going to uh, refresh that, Bita, so that whatever important thing that will be written over there, I can underline that. Give me one second. A little bit, there is a confusion in my mind that in your previous class we were doing ionic compound, huh? A little yeah. bit, I am confused that either that chapter has been completed or not. Okay, okay, no problem. I will check that, and if uh, that will not be completed, then in your next class we will do that again. Okay. So I think we finished it, but we didn't do the test. You, we didn't do the test, huh? Yeah. Yes, I yes, think that, that's. That's what I I was also thinking, but just before that I asked you, but you told me that sir we had completed. Yeah, I, I thought we did. <laughs> okay, no problem, no problem. But here that we are doing reversible reaction, beta. After completing this chapter, we can move to that chap that topic again, and let's see that what <clears throat> will be remaining over there. Okay, mm. and then we will complete that. Don't worry about that. Yeah, yeah, I will complete each and every topic, each and everything, beta. Are you seeing your class videos in your free time? Yeah. 
बेटा यू कैन सी दैट यू वर सींग योर मैथ क्लास वीडियोज ओके एंड दैट्स वाई दैट यू गॉट योर मैक्सिम मार्क्स इन योर टेस्ट हाँ द सेम थिंग यू हैव टू डू विद रिस्पेक्ट टू योर फिजिक्स एंड केमिस्ट्री बेटा टाइम आफ्टर टाइम आईदर टेन मिनट यू आर गेटिंग फ्री जस्ट गो टू चैनल गो टू सी वीडियो ओके गो देर एंड सी वीडियोज इफ यू आर हैविंग प्रॉब्लम ओके आईदर यू आर इफ मिस बोधर देर इज नो प्रॉब्लम देन यू कैन लाइक that video and just write a comment regarding to that video okay yeah yeah that will be better that will be best for that beta i miss it is not any type of benefit for me you know that it's a free service yeah <laughs> mm. but a little bit i used to worry about all those students who don't have such type of efficient teacher or such type of such kind of efficient knowledge so in that condition that's why i requested that if uh, you just have to tell about my channel's name in mm. your class your friends okay on in yeah. other class also if you have friends over there so that they can also move to my channel and they can see my class video just to get efficiency yeah <coughs> sorry well it will time here actually temperature is changing very quickly so that's why what is the temperature yeah here um, this time temperature is approximately uh, 18 20 degree centigrade yeah within 2 or 3 days that temperature uh, suddenly fall from 35 to so 35 to 20 oh. okay but so here you can see that now what here it is written it is written that many reactions are irreversible okay but irreversible that means it is not possible for those reaction to find product to reactant again okay we suppose yeah. that irreversible that means when you will get when you will get a product from reactant it is not possible for a product to get reactant again okay yeah yeah so those kind of reactions are known as irreversible reaction beta you can also understand in this way that means the reactions in uh, reactions in which you can't find your reactant from product okay that is known as irreversible reaction also but in the reversible reaction you can see that the product can be obtained the product can react to produce the original reactant yes product or you can understand product can be obtained okay from reactant and reactant can be obtained from product clear yeah oh wow shan you can see there at equilibrium the same thing that here is written yeah the concentration of reactant and product do not change that means they would like to be same okay yeah. and concentration okay. that just before i explain that concentration number of moles or number of molecules of reactant that will be equals to the number of molecules or moles of product okay so reversible reaction again there is beta in reversible reaction you can see over here yes many reactions such as such as a burning fuel many reactions such as burning fuel are irreversible why burning fuel is known as irreversible suppose that uh, we generally use uh, petrol diesel okay yeah in our car or automobiles okay but is it possible that uh, when petrol would like to combust we would like to get petrol again from its uh, uh, yeah no. from its Good. product means uh, gas of carbon dioxide and other no yeah, cuz it's turned into a gas Yes, because then it would like to convert mainly in carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and in different gases, okay, which are very harmful for our health. So in that condition, it is not possible that from gas again we would like to find that petrol, diesel, or kerosene. No. Yeah, but yeah, you, but you can turn like ice back to. Uh, yes, yes. I mean, so that means here that's why they are saying that burning of fuel that is irreversible. You can also understand in this way. Suppose that just take a piece of paper, okay, burn, and just yeah. just burn that, okay, 
when you yeah. will start burning then that paper will start to convert into ash or not yeah ash so is it possible that after getting the whole ash you will be able to get your paper again no yes <coughs> it's so because that these are kind of irreversible reaction beta that means from reactant you will get product then it is not possible that from product you will get reactant again yeah okay but reversible reactions are little bit change okay not only little bit overall change will be because that they have the general characteristic that was in which that from reactant you can get product and from product you can get reactant okay reversible yeah. reactions are different okay in reversible reaction reversible reaction product can react to produce the original reactant also okay so beta what is product product that means substance which the you will get after reaction oh yes oh, yeah, yeah. a substance that form in a reaction is known as product product okay yeah and what's our reactant reactant that means the substance which are combining together to form product okay yeah means here you can simple take example of that suppose that your mom is making tea okay yeah so if your mom is making tea so that means in that way she would like to take water milk tea leaves okay okay mm. and she would like to combine them and then she would like to put that on gas okay yeah or miss burner what you generally used to say over there in united kingdom gas Um, uh, I actually don't know what this. No, 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 Miss. In the kitchen, that uh, you would like to say what burner or gas? There is a four burners over there. Yeah, I, I, I don't know myself. Okay, okay, but here we generally used to say that okay, just put that water on gas. Okay, or we generally used to uh, we generally used to heat water with the help of gas. so gas means it doesn't mean that any type of gas that we would like to put uh, our um, water over there okay a pan mm -hmm. over there no no gas means here gas we generally used to say that type of instrument okay oh wait 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 i can show you that here uh, you can see that uh, this type of it will be wait 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 give me one second basically wait you can see that suppose that this type of uh, object that would like to be uh do you know about hob yeah hob yeah okay so gas is just like as hob oh my god yes yes yeah, yes. yeah i think that's what they call it in united yeah in your kitchen also there will be hob in which one there above there will be three or four burners over there okay yeah. so where your mom used to put uh, means a different objects like pan ball or any other article over there just to heat water okay yeah yeah just to heat water so that means when she will tend to prepare tea so all the mixtures like tea leaves water milk sugar all that she would like to put over there or not yeah and when then she would like to start hob okay when she will start hob then hob will produce flame okay that yeah. blue flame is known as gas okay yeah. but here in india that we generally used to say that <laughs> just to go to kitchen and <laughs> uh, take some uh, amount of hot water okay mm -hmm. so in that condition means here that we used to say gas there but here also we have hob in our kitchen so that mm -hmm. means instrument is known as hob and whatever flame blue flame that you will get over there while heating your water that is known as your gas okay normally okay. we use lpgs liquid petroleum gas okay okay we use lpg beta lpg full form liquid petroleum gas okay because that is a 
<coughs> sorry yeah that is a little bit cheap and also it would like to give a specific amount of energy just to bake or just to prepare our food okay yeah do you understand yeah yeah so everything that which you will combine to make any type of product that is known as a reactant okay yeah suppose when you are writing your chemical reaction suppose that you are writing your chemical reaction for reversible okay reaction okay mm. you are writing your chemical equation for reversible reaction the usual way that means arrow is not there okay yeah arrow will not be there half arrow that you will use from left to right and half arrow that you will use from yeah right to left clear yeah so yeah here you can see that oh yes instead of that two half arrow each with just half and arrowed okay the yeah. top one opening okay the top one pointing right and the bottom mm -hmm. one pointing left clear yeah top one pointing right that means you can see over here that means here you are seeing there is a reaction here you can see that there is a reaction you can see for example yeah yeah you can see that for example ammonium chloride okay no ammonium chloride they are decomposing beta okay yeah or they it is breaking ammonium chloride is breaking so breaking that means uh, you can break ammonium chloride by heat okay okay when you will give temperature to ammonium chloride okay then it it can break into its constituent uh, substance okay like it will convert into ammonia and hydro hydrochloric acid or means hydrogen chloride or hydrochloric acid that the same thing beta okay yeah so again reaction is also there you can see that nh4 sorry nh4cl that will give you nh3 plus scl but on other hand if you will combine nh3 plus scl mm -hmm. that means when you will combine ammonia plus hydrochloric acid then again you will be able to get over their nh4cl okay okay now you understand yeah great so here you can see that whatever reaction that i explained that to you just before in that reaction you can see that ammonium chloride can break down to form ammonium and ammonia and hydrogen chloride wait sorry ammonium chloride that would like to convert into ammonia and hydrogen chloride okay and yeah. it also shows that ammonia and hydrogen chloride okay here hydrogen chloride that is your colorless gas beta okay mm. <coughs> and ammonia will also be your colorless gas they would like to react each other to form ammonium chloride again clear yeah great here uh, they are giving a slide so over there beta downwards yes here you are seeing that there is a tripod oh yes tripod that means tri stand you can also yeah, yeah, say yeah yeah i know yeah, yeah. We don't here you are seeing that there is a tri stand tripod in mm. under there there is a Bunchen burner bunsen burner yeah. okay Bunchen and burner. there is a ball in which one there is a hydrated copper sulfate beta first of all you just have to understand what is the hydrated <laughs> hydrated that means in that one there will be a little bit amount of water over there okay yeah yeah okay hmm. if there is written hydrated hydrated that means water will present in that copper sulfate and if they will write an hydrous and hydrous okay hmm. then that means there will be no water in that copper sulfate okay copper sulfates are of two types wait a second i have to write there okay i will refresh again so can i just get my charger cuz my charger oh yes yes i'm waiting okay okay i'm waiting please 
Are there but Shan, are there? Oh, yes, sir. I'm back. Oh, yeah. So, here you can see that beta. Yeah. There is a tripod stand and hydrous beta. What I was writing, tend to write there. Always remember that hydrated. Hydrated, rated, hydrated. That means it contains water, beta. Okay. Yeah. It contains contains water molecule. Okay. Water yeah. molecule. Okay. And next one is your next uh, and hydrous. Okay. Mm. And hydrous and hydrous that means do yeah. not contain do not contains yeah. contains water molecule okay okay water molecule yeah so basically that give me one second beta because I have to show you a slide over there yes so I'm going to refresh that Yes, so here you can see that in this reaction an an hydrous copper sulfate that is uh, sorry here you can see that hydrated copper sulfate that is in ball okay okay hydrated copper sulfate that is in ball that means that contains water in it okay yeah and wait wait when you will burn the Bunsen burner okay so Bunsen burner that will heat the bowl of hydrated copper sulfate then whatever amount of water will be here that contains uh, copper sulfate the water would like to vaporize okay yes yeah and when water dri driven off then remaining there will be an hydrous copper sulfate okay that means yeah. there will be no water okay okay yeah, that means when water is driven off, leaving an hydrous copper sulfate. 
and again then you can see that suppose that when you will when you will add a few drop of water again over there okay then again it will convert into hydrated copper sulfate do you understand that yeah so that's why that this reaction is also considered as a reversible reaction okay okay what we did here we did here that means firstly we take in bowl hydrated copper sulfate then we lit the bunsen burner and regarding to that one water that driven off from there okay and the remaining and, uh, and remaining and hydrous copper sulfate that you will get after there okay but when you will add a few drop of water again over there in that in that and hydrous copper sulfate so that means now that you are adding a few amount of water so that means again it will convert into hydrated copper sulfate clear yeah great also the reaction between you can see that reaction between an hydrous copper sulfate and water is used for the testing of water okay okay the white solid the white solid turns blue in the presence of water okay yeah yes you can see over there when wait i can show you one thing just see that i think you just have to see again this slide firstly you are seeing that it is your hydrated copper sulfate that will be blue in color okay yeah when you will burn when you will heat with the help of bunsen burner then all the amount of water that will driven off or not yeah and then you can see that when all the water will driven off then the color of an hydrous copper sulfate that will come in white okay okay but again when you will add a few drop of water over there then again an hydrous copper sulfate which is in white in color that will again convert in blue copper sulfate okay like this clear yeah good so simple yeah i explained that a simple uh, reversible reaction second example also they are taking that simple reversible reaction that would like to be in between an hydrous cobalt chloride which is blue and water to produce hydrated cobalt chloride okay understand and a heating pink hydrated cobalt chloride makes it turns blue okay yeah now let me move to the next page do you understand clearly the first page yeah that's good now come to the next page with us second page. oh yes next one is your next topic is your equilibrium equilibrium that means i stage i stage in chemical reaction when your uh, with respect to energy you can consider also when the energy of reactant or uh, that will be equals to the energy of product or equilibrium that means suppose if a chemical reaction that is happening okay in a container okay where one or more reactant or product can escape then you can see that that will be your open system okay yeah yeah again i am repeating beta if chemical reaction that is happening in a container where one or more reactant or products can escape then you will say that open system okay yeah again if a chemical reaction happens in a container where none of the reactant or product can escape that is known as closed system okay yeah yeah so reversible reaction that happens in a closed container okay eventually reach in equilibrium stage okay yeah always remember that equilibrium that in our first page that i explained that to you in equilibrium condition that concentration of reactant that will be equals to the concentration of product okay yeah 
अंडरस्टैंड बेटा बिकॉज दैट दिस वन इट इज द की वर्ड विच यू हैव टू लर्न दैट कंसेंट्रेशन इन इक्लेब्रियम कंडीशन कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ Yeah, you can see that is written also there at equilibrium the concentration of reactant and product do not change. Okay, at equilibrium condition, the concentration of reactant and product do not change, but the forward and reversible reaction have not stopped over there. Okay. Okay. They are still going on and at the same rate as each other. Okay. Yeah. they are saying that the imagine walking the wrong way on an accelerator so at the same speed as the accelerator but in the opposite direction your legs are still walking forward okay yeah and the accelerator continues to move backward so in that condition it is, it is as a result that you will be at the same position okay Or yeah. at the same place. Okay. Means suppose that you are moving forward. Okay. You are running at a constant speed. Suppose that ten, ten kilometer per hour. Okay. And at the same, at the same speed that accelerator is uh, moving backward. So in that condition, if I would like to be over there or nearby you, then for me that you will be at your same position. Okay. That means you are not moving forward or backward direction. Okay. Yeah. So it is your perfect example of understanding equilibrium. Clear? Yeah. Basically, what are the factors which affect the equilibrium? If we remove the product from an equilibrium mixture, more reactant are converted into product. Okay? Yeah. If a catalyst is used, first of all, that you have to understand catalyst. Catalyst that means before clicking that, beta, I am telling you manually. Catalyst are the substances which alter the rate of reaction. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Which alter that means they can increase or decrease the rate of reaction. <coughs> understand? Yeah. Great. Secondly. Yeah, you can see that what the definition of catalyst is written over there. Yes, you can see that a substance that can change the rate of reaction, okay, without being changed by the reaction itself. Or you can understand in this way that catalysts are the substances which alter the rate of reaction but do not take part in chemical reaction. Okay. Okay. Yes. So. the concentration of reactant and product is nevertheless the same at equilibrium as it would be without the catalyst okay all right clear yeah here you can see that the reactant and product are balanced that means in equilibrium condition okay so you know them arrows in the middle of you know them arrows in middle yes is that like an equal sign No, no, no. You can see that these arrows. You are seeing half arrows. Okay, first yeah. half arrow. That means from left to right. That means your reaction is from left to right. Okay, from reactant you are getting product from green to pink. Okay, and the down half arrow that shows that from pink to green. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So here two reactions that you are seeing over there. So here it is. in this condition you are seeing that your pivot that is over here balancing triangle that is you are seeing that here okay at this place so yeah. now your reaction is in balance or in equilibrium condition next suppose that okay if there will be a less product over there but the amount of reactant will be more then you can see that in this side that it will tilt or not yeah Yes so that means you are taking a large amount of reactant but regarding to that one you are getting a least amount of product okay so in that condition yeah. reaction is not balanced and also if to get the balance back more reactant must be cha change into product okay so that the mass of reactant that should be equals to the mass of product over there okay 
Yeah. Do you understand that? Yeah, I understand that. Great. So now we can move to the third page, beta. And on third page, yes, here basically very very important thing that is given over here, beta. Effect of pressure on equilibrium. Okay. They are saying yeah. that what will be the effect of pressure on equilibrium. So as usual that you know that I explained that to you about equilibrium. Okay. Or equilibrium stage. Okay. So suppose that you can predict that what happened with the amount of product in equilibrium mixture of gases if pressure is changed. Or you can understand that uh, if there is a reaction, so 100% reactant will be there and regarding to reactant you will get your product. Okay. So what will be the what will be the effect of pressure okay on product okay so you can see that count the molecules in the equation okay if the pressure is increased the position of equilibrium moves in the direction of the fewest moles of gases or not yeah yeah so you can see that pressure is inversely proportional to the number yeah. of moles of gas okay yeah so that means so when moles will be few pressure will be more and when pressure will be less then number of moles will be maximum okay yeah understand beta? yeah yeah here this reaction of carbon monoxide you can see that carbon monoxide is reacting with hydrogen just to forming that methanol okay ch3oh that is your methanol okay okay yeah so also you have to understand that when carbon monoxide will react with hydrogen it forms methanol it's a type of reversible reaction beta from carbon yeah. monoxide and hydrogen you will get methanol and when methanol will decompose it will convert into carbon monoxide plus hydrogen okay yeah so that means in first condition that if pressure will increase the position of equilibrium that will move to the right hand side okay okay yeah and more methanol will be produced okay yeah simple you can understand that suppose if pressure is increasing then regarding to that you will get more product okay if pressure is less then you will get less product okay yeah understand yeah yeah Re you can see that reducing the pressure will cause the position of equilibrium move to the left so that less amount of methanol okay that will be there okay yeah great do you understand it yeah <coughs> great now come to the fourth one over there beta <coughs> let's see that what next one that is over there yes next is effect of temperature on equilibrium so effect of temperature on equilibrium here also beta you can also predict that what will happen to the amount of product in the equilibrium mixture if temperature is changed okay so okay. that means two two keywords are there if temperature is increased the position of equilibrium that move in the direction of endothermic reaction okay yeah. yeah endothermic reaction which would like to absorb heat okay yeah yeah in which energy is taken from the surrounding okay yeah that's why that i was saying that it will absorb heat clear yeah that is endothermic reaction and if temperature is reduced temperature is reduced that means the reaction in reaction okay in reaction position of equilibrium that moves in the direction of exothermic reaction exothermic that it will produce heat okay yeah yeah you can see also that a reaction in which energy is given out to the surrounding okay yeah understand beta? yeah great so here also beta, they are taking the same reaction that we had taken with respect to of effect of pressure that means carbon mm -hmm. monoxide will react with water sorry hydrogen to give methanol so here 
you can see that the forward reaction that means from left to right that is exothermic okay that means it will give it gives off heat okay okay so the backward reaction that will be endothermic that will it will receive heat okay yeah again i am repeating beta forward reaction that means from left to right that means uh, when uh, carbon monoxide will react with uh, hydrogen to form methanol this is yeah. your forward reaction okay that means left to right so it will be exothermic okay mm. because yeah they will they will uh, they will uh, produce heat okay and when heat will be produced then molecules of carbon monoxide and hydrogen would like to combine or come closer to each other and then methanol will be formed okay yeah. but on other hand okay in backward reaction you can see that when methanol would like to decompose so methanol would like to decompose that when you will heat that okay and if you will heat okay so the particles that would like to be a little bit far away from each other or not yeah so that will only happen that when it will absorb energy okay so that's why it is your endothermic reaction so can i say something yes so can we do the test today because you know what we normally do next week we forget like what we doing so are we going to do the test this week just uh, miss just this time yeah because normally forget to do the test no no beta i will do the test we will conduct test beta because as usually you can see that it's another students class beta time oh. okay yes 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 so that means uh, i will check that either we had completed your ionic compound or not okay mm -hmm. otherwise you can see that <clears throat> we had we had completed all the four pages over there okay yeah all the four pages over there in your next class okay or next week that we will see that we either that we had completed our ionic compound over there or uh, also that we will take test of this chapter okay yeah so do you understand all that which i had explained regarding to this chapter yeah reversible reaction but within few hours that your class will be updated on my channel beta you just have to go there and the topic will be reversible reaction and you yeah. just have to see your class videos just to get your efficiency thanks okay. a lot have a great time and bye bye Bye.